Two teams who are in, we're going to take a look again at Indiana. The Hoosiers handily beat Northwestern in the Big Ten tournament to help their cause. They couldn't need another one against Maryland to really feel safe. Indiana is one of the last four in right now, so a win could control their fate. A loss would mean their tournament hopes would be based on what other teams do. A 500 record in the Big Ten will usually lock a team in, but not this year. Another team that's in is Boise State. The Broncos finished tied for first place in the Mountain West Conference regular season, and they avoided a resume blemish against Air Force in the conference tournament. And that's what Boise State absolutely needed to avoid. Now, they should be playing teams that can't tear down their profile in the Mountain West tournament. The Broncos' ugly strength of schedule and lack of good wins means that there's not a lot of breathing room. As long as the committee doesn't throw a curveball though, this team should be in. Two teams who are out. First, we're going to take a look at UCLA. The Bruins destroyed USC in the Pac-12 tournament, but honestly, if they didn't blow out the Trojans, it would have looked bad. Unless lots of bubble teams stumble, UCLA still needs another win. The problem? The Bruins face Arizona next. It could be a make or break game. A win means that they're obviously in. A loss means that they could be an NCAA snub. Another team that's out is Texas A&M. The Aggies did what every bubble team tries to avoid. They lost to a garbage team. Falling to Auburn in the SEC tournament likely will doom Texas A&M's chances. That's three ugly losses in a row after it seemed like this team was in the safe zone. Now, looking at the Aggies' resume, their best wins come against LSU, and their strength of schedules in the 70s. That's just not good enough. North Carolina beat Louisville in the ACC tournament on Thursday. It doesn't seem like it had that much meaning aside from advancing in the tournament. But now, North Carolina is taking that four seed and Louisville is dropping back to a number five seed. If you're looking for a game to watch on Friday night, definitely try to target North Carolina versus Virginia in the ACC tournament. The Tar Heels are playing great basketball right now and if they beat Virginia, the number one seed could be in question.